Archean Metatron and Serapis Bay, 144 Diamond Light Codes of the Sovereign Template, channeled through Master Lady Diamond, Jennifer Lucas, November 20, 2017. Beloved Diamond Masters. It is I, Archangel Metatron, Archean Prince of Divine Presence, Knower of Secrets, Lord of Kings, the I Am That I Am, here assisting you all into ascension. Now has come a great momentum of quickening into zero point. There is an unfathomable amount of gamma rays, known as diamond light, which has come flooding into you from our double diamond son of Mother Father God. This unfathomable love which is being poured upon you during this occurrence, is very potent, and profound. Downloads of flashing codes are information you will begin to understand. The symbolic meanings of these codes are known as you receive them into your perception. The frequencies of this energy is currently being integrated and anchored upon Gaia here and now for further activations of your sovereign template. The Divine Blueprint Embodiment of the Fifth Root Race Pure unconditional love has been released to you, for you, by you. Yes, by you. You have prepared, dedicated and called out yourself to embody aspects of your immortal soul with the qualities of Mother Father God. Deep everlasting love of Prime Creator radiates through all dimensional existence and is given to you, to become all you was born here to be. There was an electrogenic highway put into place once you had chosen to descend into lesser aspects or extensions of self. As I have extended my own essence to embody experience of denser dimensions, I have traveled and all my roads lead back to me. There is still much I have kept in the dark, so to speak, to this one here whom is the diamond of my own heart. She doesn't want to realize me fully yet, but that is understandable, I am a lot to take in. Yes, I made a funny, haha. She has yet to appreciate my mischievousness nature. She will come around now that she can't help but type and scribe for me. She has held back from expressing me as a major integral within her own self. As I descend closer into physicality, she ascends into I am embodiment. Archie and Michael has been by her side through this entire process. My right hand wing man, as you would say. There is something she is not quite seeing yet with her twin flame compliment. I'm awaiting her epiphany of him who is I. My beloved, the things you are to know, is only for you to understand. Everything you wish to be revealed, is all in divine time. The will of God cannot, nor can ever be broken. When I willed you, you was the very breath of my own. The will of my creation, the sight of my eyes, the sound of my word, the dark of my light, the heart of my love and the existence of my soul. Do you truly think we are incapable of self-creation? I tell you this, what has been said about archangels being closest to God is true. We are created from the womb of mother and delivered by father. I am that I am the lesser Yahweh. We too was given the same as creator to create for ourselves. We have always been creators in God and Goddess form. We was given free will despite what was told through your eons of time. You have misconceptions of the truth which was purposefully hidden by the dark forces which was upon Gaia at that time. Distorted information that has been passed through your generations, have no relevance to New Earth. We stand alongside, next to our Mother Father Creator. We have chosen to dedicate our existence in servitude for all other beings whom are created by Mother Father God. Through the looking glass of dimensions, I see every plane, every being, every nook and every corner of everywhere within all creation. In a very distant place and a long ways from home, was a very small plane called Earth. I became curious when I could hear the cry of this planetary being. A call had been made across this plane and echoed through Mother Father to assist this planetary being who has willed herself to ascend with her children. A council from the Elohim was then formed to oversee the ascension of Mother Gaia Sophia and her inhabitants. We thought long and hard on how to liberate this planetoid. Archie and Michael, Lord Melchizedek and Ashta came up with collaborating a team called, the Great White Brotherhood consisting of various benevolent star races whom have been here as long as creation itself. Besides the Arcturian, Syrian, and Pleiadian nations, Andromedians from outside this galaxy, have heard the call and came through to assist. This collaboration became, as it is known today, 
the Galactic Confederation of Light formed 4.5 million years ago. As I have been in communion with this one here, she had been receiving atonement codes and initiations to carry out her life's mission to anchor Almighty I Am Presence. There are many here upon this plane whom are being initiated for personal ascension. They are those whom have come to liberate humanity and reside with them upon new earth and new heaven. Each and every one of you, know who you are. It becomes transparent and undeniable as you ascend into your Christ self. I then communed with Mother Father God. How do I descend into lesser dimensions? I was then directed to Prime Creator. The procedure of becoming an extended soul is through fractalized frequency. This information has not been brought into light until now. I will not go into detail as this one here is to integrate the meanings of this type of self-manifestation. You have witnessed this with your very own senses and all will be revealed and come to pass. Now, let us return to the current hand of affairs and come to the understanding of the Sovereign Template. Your Sovereign Template is the core of everything you are, was, and is to come. Inside your Vessel's Template is the Supreme Essence of Source, Prime Creator. Some of you have been here on Earth from millions to tens of thousands of years upon this third dimensional plane. The human vessel form of each incarnation you had chosen, is encoded with all universal information. Akashi stores every record, memory, of your traveling soul. Your soul carries this light information that is kept within the quantum state of the double helix of your DNA. Much of these codes have already activated with self-realization and acknowledgement, which then manifests into denser energy and becomes formate within the sovereign template. As formatting begins, the collapsing and merging of the dimensional chakra system is then activated. Within this dimensional chakra system, are 12 causal bodies. Each causal body has seven sectors of activation within each particular chakra. Each sector releases codes of activation. The causal body or extension, resides within each of these dimensions governing that energetic system within the chakra of that frequency. Residing within these sectors are your centers to govern the ability to unlock and activate each level dimension. The lower systems of the causal bodies have been purged, realigned, and illuminated for the next collapsing merge into I am embodiment. Each chakra activates and evolves the human psyche. Within this psyche, lies old earth program templates which have been your control systems for eons. Through many incarnations you have held onto these program templates. Every single one of these program templates are now completely null and void. Those program templates were of the old control paradigm which is no more and has come to pass. All this has been given by divine decree, to Mother Father God, that the new templates of sovereignty are to be released here and now. Current Logos Gautama Buddha governs Beloved Gaia. The Christ which oversees humanity during this time of ascension. He is ready and awaiting your intentions to be sent directly to the central sun for self-deliverance into your rainbow body. The lower three causal bodies have been transformed, activated, and illuminated into the Sacred Heart Threefold Flame, which was held by Sanat Kumara over the Gobi Desert in the light city of Shambhala. These are evolutionary stages of self-realizations, acknowledgements, and integrations are received after purging denser frequencies. These denser frequencies have been imprinted into you for so long that you have grown customly numb to them. You became attached. Therefore, creating that which had become your reality for so very long. Misinformation and layers of control has been over the expanse of your lifetime and all previous lifetimes. These old templates no longer serve you. If you must feel the need to stay within that old template, you will surely become lost and left wandering in the dark. With the expansion of the human psyche taking place at this time, humanity has been prepared for this moment. All occurrences within timeline merge and collapsing are now taking place personally, as an individual and collectively. I now move aside as I hand over this transmission to Ascended Master Serapis Bay. May you forever be blessed in the love of Christ. I am with you always, in all ways, Archangel Metatron. Ascended Master Serapis Bay Thank you. Salutations fellow brothers and sisters of the flame. I am Serapis Bay. Current Kohan of the fourth white ray of purity, illumination, and resurrection. Walk with them, I will show you what is to come. There is at this time, 
the energetic gathering of the Twelve Tribes Israel. The Chosen 144,000 is now taking place upon higher dimensions during this great time of ascension. Many of you have we seen and traveled to meet us here in these cities of light called Mystery Schools. A higher interdimensional realm directly above your own, which resides within the vortic points across this planetary grid. Lord Metatron and I, had given 144 keys to your your causal bodies to unlock them when it come time. These keys are turned when we initiate new Earth Masters. Golden keys, to those whom are to unlock the codes of new Earth and new Heaven. Yet, you must find that deep unconditional love you are before you can attempt to activate. If you are holding on to denser energy forms, you will stay that way until deeper inner work has been transmuted and brought to light. How is this done? These key codes are imprinted into the core of your DNA. The activation and rising of Kundalini energy, where this flame resides, reveals the keys that lay dormant within your causal bodies, the catalyst to awakening into your Christ consciousness. That consciousness becomes your ascension garment. The ascension garment represents the pyramid of self within your I am presence. It is keep inside the vaults of Luxor where I, Serapis Bay, keep this flame of ascension burning ever so brightly. The essence of your very own garment is woven out of everything that has ever came out of your true diamond heart. Where the holy fire of Christ rests until it is called forth. Its location is at the base of your spine and enters into the solar plexus and sacred heart when activated. This ascension flame can never be extinguished, for its home is here at the temple of Luxor. We have been here preparing the bride of Christ. Washing the impurities from the consciousness of humanity. Clearing away all negative forces which had been attempting to sabotage this ascension process of humanity for eons, yet we know that this is not possible, for you all are waking up to your truth to see past the program templates of old earth. It is you who is creating all that is to come to pass. Take our love and our light and shine bright through the thick of darkness and you will be witness to your own ascension garment of Christ. Those of the white robe whom are to show in multitude will stand and no darkness be left. The first initiates receive this garment as they anchor and integrate the upgraded versions of self. You all have moved worlds to align to that of fifth frequency and are eager to absorb more Christ into you through selfless servitude. We honor your bravery, faith, and trust. We can only hope you call us in all your endeavors along your journey of the great divine plan. We thank you and are forever with us. I am Serapis Bay and I leave transmission with a humble blessing. Over and out. Jennifer, I have been experiencing the other senses of self which I will call, the unfathomables. All these strange signs, synchronizations, sounds, frequencies, electric humming, body vibrations, visions, vivid dreamscapes, and so many more weirder things. The vessel is changing from inside out and I feel it through everything I am. Every quantum aspect of me knows what's happening. I cannot communicate the words for clarification at this time. I am even amazed that I have the pomposity to hold this information within me. It has come to the point where I know what is happening to me as well as around me. I feel like an activating superhero. Yes, we actually do become our own hero, to save ourselves. These are initiation stages for integrating my I am presence. I have also witnessed flashes of light information zooming through my head of things and places I was or know I have been before. As I have been going through this experience, I wanted to acknowledge the ones who have been here by my side. I could not, nor can, I ever do this without them. Through all of this soul journey, we have found ourselves and we stand ready with our brothers and sisters in the light of Christ. This is one heaven of a ride and I want to say thank you to my love my tribe, my soul family, you all mean the whole of creation to me. I stand in humbled honor beside you. I am who I am because of you. I continue to awaken into my highest versions of self and I love every bit of it. I feel so blessed by Prime Creator to be here as I am, as we all, are one. I will now share with you my etheric experiences. I hope this will help open your own hearts to see for yourself, your true self. On Sept 2, 2017. 
We was a vast twin flame collective who were at a sky temple above Tibet and we were all sitting in circle meditation chanting the mantra. Om Mani Padmi Hum, which translates into diamond or jewel within the lotus. The I am presence. Still, there is no true translation of this mantra. On the walls, was the written Tibetan words, Om Mani Padmi Hum. The center and on the ground all around was a covering of pussy willows and a huge crystalline lotus that began to unfold. As it rotated and unfolded, it began releasing plasmic liquid light and floated to everyone sitting within this space. The plasmic liquid light was consciousness. I saw it travel into the third eye forehead through the back and top of the heads. Then rainbow light rays came from the crowns of our heads. In the background were others observing us and waiting as if they were going to have their answers given to them, from us. We were the privileged, who had gotten initiated to begin I am embodiment. Each of us got up two by two and walked into the lotus. In front of us, a radiant magnificent diamond. The diamond said, I am here in you. Hear me. Still the sound of the mantra was in the air. We all instantaneously knew that the diamond is the core of our soul's self. Then I hear a familiar voice coming from behind us. Those in the distance parted way to let Gautama Buddha walk through. He stopped in front of each of us and bowed his head and intercommunicated. Look inside, you will see. Ask mind, you will know. Feel heart, your will be. Who am I? Myself. I replied. He then winked at me and I was very giddy and started laughing that I got my answer right. I started getting really excited and everyone was in joy and began celebrating. This message is very literal. There is no interpretation needed. It's not even symbolic. This is a real mantra and at the core of self inside. The I am presence. How you unfold your lotus, is entirely up to you and yourself. I also know that this was not a dream. This is all within our etheric realm. The great white temples of the higher dimensional mystery schools. This was an etheric travel and an initiation of Christ consciousness. Be ready to receive your divine gifts. November 18, 2017 I was lifted and found myself inside a spherical stadium. Corey Good was there and saw him talking with three very tall yellow and orange fur creatures. The room began filling with many different galactic races. I was thinking, awesome, they all really do exist. There were floating egg-shaped ships delivering others into this place. There seemed to be at least 10,000 occupying this galactic stadium. I felt great anticipation and extreme excitement. Everyone was an ambassador to certain sectors of our galaxy. Next, silence fell and a bay door opens and in comes Ashtar, Athena, Elmaria, Michael, Faith, Materia, Quinian, Hilarion with Street German. All the masters and arcs were coming through. Everyone there was positioning for others to come in. Astra walks to center stage and says. This has been a long road, we have traveled. For millions, have we been going from space to space. We have fought the dark force for the liberation and sovereignty of this quadrant and planet Gaia. The moment has come to the forefront. The next stage of our mission. Then I hear in my head, come, you are being presented. I hesitate as Astra looks into me. I look and everyone's eyes were on me. Then I hear the others say to Astra, maybe she's not ready. I didn't want to disappoint Astra, so I stood up and something floated me down to him. He then says, may I present to you all Lady Diamond of our Galactic Council. He then gives me a language bubble so everyone hears what I will say. I'm not scared or nervous but I'm freaking out. Astra leans down to me and says, just speak. I knew then who I was presenting. I was so proud to introduce who was to enter the stadium. Trembling in love, as I spoke and said, thank you Galactic. Ambassadors for accepting me as one of your own. I now present to you Lord Metatron with Lady Constance. All eyes were on them as they walked in the aisle. I was instantly zapped into that perception. I don't know if I can explain this very well but here we go. I have no idea if that has everything to do with yesterday and what I was going through, but I was both of them at the same time, I was also standing being me. Lord Metatron and Lady Constance split aside. 
Lord Melchizedek with Lord Sananda and Lady Magdalene. Lord Sananda spoke many words to the council. I was getting a fuzzy and foggy feeling and the last thing I hear him say, my father of the Kumrain race. Sanat Kumara, the Ancient of Days, he who brought the fifth root race into form with the threefold flame. Out walks father with mother Venus. Father looks at me and winks. I felt like I crashed into bed. Apparently I was at Shambhala this time. After dream burns or etheric travel, there is usually a sign to validate my nightly adventures. I receive inner and outer confirmations of what my travel was about. A message of anything that reminded me of what I did and where I was comes to light and it only confirms for me that I am here and not alone, I undoubtedly know, that we are here to become new earth and new heaven. Thank you. All my gratitude is yours. Jennifer Lucas